Welcome to Should I Live There, where we help you decide if you should or shouldn't live in a certain place. Today, our guest is Federico Bisaka, and he is going to be helping us learn more about Baltimore. And uh, Federico, thank you so much for being on the channel today. Where are you from originally? Well, I came on vacation originally, <laughs> and I met my wife. So here I am. I ended up uh, moving to the US. Excellent. Awesome. So, and how long have you been living in uh, Baltimore for? Uh, I moved to Baltimore about three years ago. I first lived in uh, York, Pennsylvania, which is about 45 minutes away from here. So we like it better here and we decided to move. Awesome. All right, let's talk about the proximity to airport. And if you want to, you know, travel outside of Baltimore, where are the nearest airports that you would that you you take to travel internationally or domestically? So the closest of all, uh, the closest to the city, which is about 20, 25 minutes, depending where in the city you're located, you might be even less actually, is uh, BWI, so Baltimore Washington International, which is kind of like a shared airport between Baltimore and Washington DC. Uh, we're also pretty close to Dulles and uh, Ronald Reagan uh, airports. Um, those are closer to Virginia, uh, but it's probably within an hour, um, within an hour travel. So you can fly internationally from BWI, uh, but depending where you're going, you might have to go to Dallas, most likely. Oh, got it. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And in terms of housing, uh, cost of living, what are some of like the price ranges for, for houses? So depending on the neighborhood, you can find different prices farther out from the city, I guess I will say. You can find townhouses starting in the 250s. Average is probably like in the 350. If you're looking for a detached single family house, you're probably going to look at the $400,000 and above. Uh, in different neighborhoods, you can find a single family for 220 to 250. Uh, but again, it really depends on the area. Uh, there is also a lot of condos in certain areas of the of the city, and if you look at a condo, obviously you're looking at totally different prices. You could find something in the four to five hundred thousand dollars range. You could find something in the two hundred thousand dollars range, depending on your view, where you want to be, and the kind of condo what they offer and how new or old it is. Got it. Excellent. Okay. And uh, for renting, what does renting kind of look like? Renting, I have seen some newer constructions, townhomes in the $3,400 a month, which is pretty insane. If you think about <laughs> how much you can buy with the same money every month. I used to rent, actually, we used to have a studio apartment that we rented for $950 a month. Uh, it was closer to the city. But it was a studio, so you know if you're looking for a studio, you can find something. And then, well, now now prices have gone up, so probably close to a thousand a month. But if you're looking for a house, a townhouse, or you know something bigger, you're gonna probably be definitely not less than twenty two hundred dollars a month. But if you want something new, it's gonna be above three. All right, and let, let's dive a little into the weather in Baltimore. So what is weather look like the weather is kind of mixed in the summer it's it gets pretty warm in the i guess i would say 85s like middle of summer right now it's like 76 today and it's uh june <laughs> in the fall we'll have a nice temperature in the fall, uh, spring gets warmer and summer it's the hottest uh, but it's not like other side of the country where I guess in California or other places where you have more of a warm weather year round and or places like Chicago where you have colder, longer cold seasons. Okay, excellent. And um, in the winter, it snows quite a bit, right? It snows quite a bit. It depends on the year. Uh, this past winter we didn't have much snow uh it's not a few times but it wasn't that much in past years i can say that we had a, a good bit more um i think two years ago we had well two years ago there was a big storm i guess it hit the whole country and we got a good bit <laughs> a lot of snow actually and um in the summers like you said it's uh it's pretty warm in the summer 
Yeah, it's, it gets warm. We're not too far from like Delaware. So if you want to go to the beach, you can definitely, uh, you know, take a ride and it's about an hour, an hour and 30 minutes probably. Um, you can get to Ocean City, Maryland, which is right. Basically to get to Ocean City, Maryland, you go through Delaware. We have the shore over there and uh, it's a temperature where you can actually go and swim. <laughs> so it, it gets pretty warm. Okay, let's let's go into things to do um, in in the Baltimore area. So uh, you were mentioning, is it driving driving somewhere to the beach or? Yeah. So like Ocean City is probably the one of the most popular places to go in the summer, uh, and you'll find people from probably uh, Pennsylvania, um, you know, farther north that will go to Ocean City because it's. It's a popular place, I guess. <laughs> if you talk about places that you could go in in like a, within an hour, we have DC, which if you don't get into traffic, it's less than an hour. Uh, but oftentimes you'll get into traffic going towards DC. The food scene in Baltimore is pretty wide. We have all kinds of restaurants, foods, and cultures, uh, different cuisines, and and you can more or less find anything that um, you might want to eat. There seem to be some kind of competition between Washington DC and Baltimore as far as the cuisine goes. Uh, there are mixed opinions. Some people think that Washington is better. Some other think that Maryland, uh, Baltimore has more restaurants and more places to go to. So there is this kind of competition in that sense, but they both have a lot of restaurants. They both have a lot to do. I'm, I'm all about food and stuff. Oh, what about like, yeah. if I want to get like Asian food in Baltimore, like how does, what does that look like? Asian food, there is a lot of different uh, cultures. Uh, my wife is Filipino and Maryland has a lot of Filipino uh, uh, influence in a way. So a lot of them are either, when they move here in the, in the States, they're either going to go to Los Angeles, California or Maryland. So there is a lot of, uh, Filipino, but there is also a lot of uh, Thai, Chinese, so restaurants of any kind. Um, and uh, we really enjoy all, all kinds of food. So um, from sushi to, like I say, Thai food, or um, there is actually, um, there was a place not too far from me either, which is called Asian Taste. They recently moved. I haven't tried their new location yet, but they have all kinds of Asian food. Um, so they'll do like Chinese, Thai, uh, Thai uh, Japanese. So that's that's one of the places that we actually used to go a little more when they were closer to our house. We haven't tried their new location yet, but there is also a lot of sushi places. Okay, so we're talking about food. So let's let's go into the culture because I feel like food yeah. and people totally creates the culture. Um, yeah. How would you describe the culture in Baltimore? I'd say it's very mixed. You can find all kinds of people, culture, um, environments. There'll be that fast-paced, fast-paced population. I guess <laughs> I'd say during the day. But then it kind of slows down because people like to also enjoy their time and uh, the general culture. I mean, it's uh, it's very broad. There is uh, a lot of things you could do or 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 see. People meet and it's it's like a big melting pot. It probably represents a lot of the what the United States are um, again. So you know, this very mixed culture. I love that. Yeah, it sounds like it's a, it's a really diverse type of yep. a, a melting pot like even even you saying there's a big filipino population or um even yourself you 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 uh oh, as... and the italian the italian uh you know baltimore is a little italy so there is a big italian influence as well even on the construction so if you look at the older houses the raw homes um you know the baltimore brick home is kind of like a statement for most people that come from other places um, you know, they look for that. They look for that Baltimore brick house, the brick, yeah. townhouse with the exposed brick, maybe in the living room. That's something that we tend to see a lot in certain areas, like mm. Bell's Point, uh, which is a, probably the most touristic area in uh, in the city. 
So you're right by the water, but it's a little older. Uh, there is a good bit of things to see and restaurants as well. We have a lot of neighborhoods. Hmm. So, um, yeah. you know, there is a lot of um, different mixtures. There is a um, Greek town as well. So there is like different areas where people in the past were, you know, more concentrated. Now, obviously, it has expanded. It's, it's all mixed. Can you talk about the... Um... Italian influence so like you said you mentioned Little Italy is kind of like Baltimore like how is it like a pocket or a certain district or how's that look uh it's actually its own uh neighborhood actually like when you get downtown it's so interesting if you look at the map how if you zoom in and look at neighborhoods are basically they're all when you get downtown into Baltimore then you have like Inner Arbor East, Inner Arbor, Little Italy um, so you have like all these neighborhoods that kind of merge in a way, and then you get to False Point, Canton, like they're all very close to each other, but you can see when you're going from one neighbor to the other, you can kind of um, actually physically see it. Uh, Little Italy has a good bit of uh, obviously Italian restaurants because <laughs> where else would you put them? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, if, if, if that's where uh, when people were migrating from Italy, that's where they, they were concentrated. So that's where they started their businesses, their restaurants, and, and that's where still nowadays most of them are. And, and okay, so with, with Baltimore, like, what are some things that you really like about Baltimore? I like definitely the diversity that it offers. Um, I like that it's a city, but it's not a New York City. I feel like when you are in a city, this is a personal opinion. Like you tend to be more like in the open-minded kind of uh, state than, than you would be if you live in a small place. And Baltimore gives you that, but it also like gives you that option to stay in like specific neighborhood and have that calm, uh, that calm place, uh, that, you know, uh, quieter area. You can get everything from from the city. Um, you just have to know where to go, where to be, and and how to approach it. In Baltimore, um, do you have to own a car to kind of get around, or how's the public transportation? Um, there is public transportation. You can get from one side, basically, actually from Baltimore County uh, to Baltimore City. You can take uh, public transportation. There is a, a subway, but it's not like um, the underground subway. Uh, there is buses. Um, I own a car and generally that's how I move. But there are a lot of bus stops. So if you live downtown and you want to move to, you know, from one place to another downtown, that's definitely something you can do. It's probably not to the extent of bigger cities like New York where you probably don't even want to have a car right um yeah, yeah. but um yeah. yeah i mean i feel like it's it's good to have a car it's good to own a car in baltimore but if you if you have the need to use public transportation that's something that you you also have as well okay interesting okay so with baltimore what are some things maybe that you don't like about the area some things that i'm not a fan of is you know the name that baltimore tends to have because a lot of people when they think of Baltimore they think of the wire uh, which obviously was this you know big um, show that went on TV Netflix and, and all that and was showing the bad sides of the city you know the drug scene and, and all that I think that tends to be everywhere and yes Baltimore will definitely have um, uh, that as well but that's not all Baltimore is. Um, I don't really know that there is something that I necessarily dislike. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. So maybe just I like the, the, just like the stigma of yeah, like, more so the stigma, stigma that it has than than actually the reality. anything else. I mean, I I really don't in in the time I've lived here, I haven't seen something that I'd say oh I don't like this about Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Got it. Cool. Okay. Let's end with um, the local economy. So um, okay. how does the local economy, like if you could kind of describe it for us? There are like definitely bigger names that um, are 
present in Baltimore. Uh, one of them would be John Hopkins. We have um, a lot of hospitals and John Hopkins is one of the uh, bigger ones, which obviously is not all over the country and brings a lot of uh, doctors and people. Uh, Under Armour is based in Baltimore. So that's another uh, big name. Yeah. Uh, um, the Port of Baltimore is also a pretty big one that brings a lot of, um, you know, obviously a lot of uh, transportation yeah. business and whatnot, uh, yeah. jobs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'd say those are the, the main. Um, and I guess we didn't really talk about hospitals and healthcare, but yeah, Baltimore. Let's, yeah, let's go into so of, job, job. Yeah, John Hopkins. That's, I mean, it's huge. It's like world renowned. Uh, yeah and stuff so it looks like actually uh well there is like 16 bigger hospitals in in baltimore and apparently nine of the 16 are in the top five percent um of the country so uh, you know it's not just john hopkins there is a lot of other um uh, hospitals that are you know um, pretty good too but yeah, definitely John Hopkins and University of Maryland does tend to attract a lot of people and they definitely bring jobs. They bring students because obviously when you talk about Hopkins or University of Maryland, you're going to have students, new doctors that want to be there. And and that's uh, pretty popular. Yeah, 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 yeah. It attracts the uh, working professionals yeah. kind of crowd mm -hmm. for the medical field. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for going again one more time and uh, till next time.